Hello everyone and welcome to This and That. This is another tutorial on the Side Sync app made by Samsung. This is a little bit more in-depth review of it, uh, some of the functions and capabilities that it has. It's a really good app. I highly recommend it if you have a Samsung device. So let's get started. Click on Side Sync right there. And it should find your computer. Mine's, my phone's already been connected. That menu that you saw before, that shows you the steps how to connect your phone to your computer and vice versa. Uh, so since mine's been connected before, I will just go ahead and click on this right here. And it should pop up on the screen. And there we go. It turns off the screen on your phone. Bring it up, brings it up right here. <clears throat> and then you can click on the app right here and it'll show you that you're connected. Click the back button if you want to close out of the app completely. And then just click the home button to get out of that. And then you can just use your mouse to swipe. Then you have this drop down menu here. You can click this tab button. And what that does is it keeps your phone screen here always on top of any window that you have open. So as you can see, this window goes behind it instead of in front of it which is pretty cool. And then you also have rotate, that rotates it sideways, like so. Right, let's get that back. And then you have window transparency. You can turn the transparency down or up, however you prefer. And screen capture here. And then this is presentation mode, which is kind of for this video that I'm not using, but it turns on the screen on on your PC and your phone as well. And then you can just click it again to disable it. And then you click this button here and it'll turn off your phone screen and then you can get your phone screen back. Or you can just go to, to your phone and hit the home button and it'll turn it on. And then if you want it back you can click right there. And you have file transfer right here. Click on that and then you can get into your files on your phone from here and transfer them to your computer. And you can also drag and drop files right here. And you can click that to close it. Click it to open it. And you can get all your music right here and all your photos. And then you can add it to your favorites. And if you click on this more tab here, it enables keyboard and mouse sharing, which allows you to use your mouse and keyboard on your phone all you do is click on that and you scroll your mouse over to your phone and you can see the mouse arrow right there working and then you can click on files and whatnot and get out of the files go up here and close and then you can see that it's working just fine get into your apps And then you just scroll your mouse back over to the right, or actually, excuse me, to the left. And then you can get your mouse pointer back. And to close that window, just hit the X and hit OK. And click on phone screen. And then that'll bring back up your phone screen again. And you go back over here to more, and then you have settings. You have connections, notifications, and general. And right here in general, you can change your uh, resolution, whatever you prefer. And you can disable the screen saver when your phone's connected to your computer. Uh, choose where you want to uh, save your captured images to. And your keyboard and mouse shortcut, you can set your keys for that as well. And down here you have continue to play video on your PC's video player change the mirrored screen's audio path, click on notifications and you can receive notifications, connections, start side sync when you log on to your computer, automatically connect your device to the computer if it's been previously connected, and side sync mode down here uh, shows you what will pop up when you connect, so just the dashboard, dashboard and mirror screen, or dashboard and keyboard and mouse sharing. So if you click on that, then it'll allow you to scroll over to your phone right away when you connect. And it shows you your passkey here if you want to connect by pin when you're first setting up. 
and then you have file transfer history no history so back out of that and you got information shows you the information of side sync and you can update it right from here check your license information and latest version is already installed click OK close out of that and then you got help that brings you to your to a web web browser where you can find more help and then you have FAQ and tips that brings you to another browser scan for devices you click on that and this right here is the menu that you'll see when you when you're first setting up your device oh, it just went away um, that's the menu that you'll see and it'll tell you exactly how to connect your phone to your computer and your computer to your phone or if you have a tablet that'll work as well too and right here is more help if you're unable to find your device and those are pretty much all the features of SideSync um, if there's anything else you guys wanted to see that I missed uh, please leave a comment down below in the comments section and if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and also if you want to see more video reviews and how-to tutorials uh, and app reviews like this then hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video and thank you guys for watching.